Welcome back to another episode of LG Outdoors. Today we're going to go over my pond combo. The lure that I have on at the moment is a Jimmy Houston spinnerbait with double Colorados. It's got a booyah skirt that was off of a buzzbait that broke. I tie a Palomar knot and the line I'm using is Berkeley uh, Big Game Monofilament, 15 pounds. I chose it over fluorocarbon because I'm fishing in a pond. I'm, I'm not able to see all the structure that I'm casting around. So, because I don't have like a graph in front of me or the water's not clear. So I like the mono because it'll stretch and it'll, it'll either bend the hook or it'll pop it through the wood. That if I get hung on or the rock or whatever. Instead of fluoro, it would probably break and I would lose the lure. And... In pond fishing, you don't really want to bring a ton of lures because you'll be hauling around all day. It won't be in your boat or in your kayak or whatever. So, I chose monofilament over floral and braid. Because braid, you get hung, there is no breaking it. Mono, it tries its best to get it unhung, get it unstuck. And if it breaks, it breaks. That means you were hung up really well. So the reel I chose to put on here is an Abby Garcia Major League Fishing. It is, it's got five ball bearings, left-handed, six four to one gear ratio. It is a great reel for the money. I, I really like it. It casts smooth, it reels smooth. It's just an all around decent reel for the money. I think it's around $50. Um, comment down below if you know if I'm wrong or whatever. Um, so I'm used to a seven foot medium heavy split grip rod. This is a little different. It's a six foot medium heavy with a full cork. Full cork rod. Or handle. My bad. Um, I chose a six foot because it's still got a tremendous amount of backbone. It's still got a quick tip. I can fish anything on it. I can fish top water, moving, bottom baits. I can fish anything I wanted to on it. It uh, it's smaller. I can cast in different places that I normally wouldn't be able to. I can probably get in different places I normally wouldn't be able to. So I'm stoked to use this. I uh, I'm gonna be fishing here pretty soon. I might make some videos depending on if I catch any fish or not. So I'll catch you on those next episodes on LG Outdoors.